Hello, Willow Davis. How's it going? Hey, it's Monday. How are you feeling? I'm feeling like I feel like stew pickles uh, making chocolate pudding at four in the morning. That's how I feel right now. I've lost control of my life. Anyway, got some more reacting to weird cooking videos for you today. Today I wanted to check out some Cooking with Jack, who who we've, we've seen before on a couple of videos. Uh, I actually found a nice playlist, Horrible Cooking with Jack, somebody made on YouTube. But hey, don't forget, check out the referral link at the top of the description to shop for the coldest water bottle. You could also use code Willow for 10% off your order there. And there's also a link at the top for a giveaway that they're doing. So check that out. And coldest water, thanks for sponsoring. So hey, we're at uh, we're at like 30,000 YouTube subscribers right now. I don't want to I don't want to get my hopes up quite yet. I like to I like to be like a good 100 over before actually <laughs> celebrating cuz because people tend to come and go, so not, not ready to congratulate myself yet. For this incredible achievement, I'd like to thank everyone but the haters. Anyway, I'm not, we already watched Salad Night here. <laughs> what is Lazy Man's Omelette? I feel like he's got a lot of Lazy Man's Blank <laughs> videos, but uh, hey, I can relate, so let's see what a Lazy Man's Omelette is. Hey, Jack Scalfani here, and you're cooking with Jack. Another Lazy Man's Recipe. The Lazy Man videos have been crazy. I think it's the number one <laughs> series I have. You guys always want the lazy videos. So True. we're going to be doing Lazy Man Love a lazy recipe. And uh, I, I know some of you may know this method, but I'm gonna teach you this method in a moment. First of all, grab one of these pots and fill it up with water and get it boiling on the stove, okay? I'll wait. Oh my God, boiling water for an omelet? You got the pot of water boiling? Good. Yeah, I got it, That'll it's going. Good. Just keep that boiling. We're going to be using that in just a minute. Okay, We're Jack. We're going to bring it in close and show you exactly how to do this. It's quick. It's easy. And you can cook more than one Instructions unclear, time. Jack. I love this. All right, here's what you're going to do. The water's boiling. How do I boil the water? Boil It'll be ready by the time we are. Hand everybody in your family one of these bags. A Ziploc quartz bag, okay? Oh, no. Don't tell me. We're boiling bags of egg. For some reason... I don't know why. Maybe I've just been scarred by Kay's cooking. <laughs> I feel like you just just boil boil a bag full of eggs and say it's a lazy man's omelet. Maybe that's not the case. Maybe maybe he's saying you all choose your own toppings. Give him a sharpie and say right on here what you want in your omelet. So let's say little Johnny wants veggies. Okay, little veggie Johnny's omelet. not gonna want the veggies. All right, Dad wants. A cheese. Probably want to put their name on it too. Dad cheese, so you can distinguish who's is who's. Dad okay. cheese, got and it. And mom, mom wants the mushroom. Just ham and onion. Who? We won't be kissing mom after this, will we? There you go. Why? Okay. You, Real simple. Y'all, I'm sorry. Y'all kissing your mothers? You're gonna throw ingredients for mom. Make sure your hands are clean. You're gonna grab grab some onion. <laughs> Can't throw in the bag. Y'all mouth kissing your mothers. Uh, Whoa, mom. There we go. The ham and onion. Got some onion in there. Grab some ham. Throw the ham in there. Whoops. Get over here. Okay. Mom likes ham. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Put that off to the side. Let's get dad's. Okay. Dad needs some cheese. Put a little cheese in there. There we go. Did this Maybe in a pinch more. This is a lot of prep work here. You hear about this. You we'll couldn't just write it down it and do it at the, the time of. Pinch of some mushrooms, tomatoes, and you can have them do this. You this is a lot of this. plastic bag usage. And put a little onion. In my opinion. There we go. Now you can you can prepare these the night before and zip them closed, put them in the refrigerator, or you can do it the morning of. That's, this now, is not a lot of work. It, we'll this is not a lot of work to have to do it the night before. Yes, we're going to drop three eggs in them. That's right. Oh, never no. done this before, so there could be a chance for disaster on this, okay? So How is this any easier? You're just wasting so Here many we go. plastic bags. One egg. Ta-da. I'm assuming you're just going to mix it in there and then pour it out into a pan, or Two at least egg. I hope so. Ta-da. Beautiful. There you just go. Just let it soak in the egg there for a little bit. 
You're going to zip it closed. Don't burp it, but don't put a lot of air in it, okay? Going to mix it, break it all up. Okay. All right, we got all three bagged up. We zipped them closed. That's now we're going to drop them in the boiling water. Let's take them over to the stove oh, right now. He's doing boiling it. Boiling water. He's take all three back. The prophecy is <laughs> is coming true. Unfortunately, oh no. Oh no. I mean, I'm sure it's fine. It's probably fine. It's all food safe stuff. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's safe up up to 212 degrees, but uh, you know, I, like they're not going to die <laughs> from this I probably. Drop them in. You're gonna cook them for about like why. eight minutes, and they're gonna ex the air do gonna be expand. expanding they get really, really big. You're gonna burp the air out of them, and then cook them again till they expand. Okay. Why do you say burp it? Seven. And they're getting minutes really puffy down. with air, so I'm gonna burp them now. Careful, it's hot. Oh yeah. All right. So you burp them, and then you close them up. Burp. Now them. when they expand again. Burp They're good to go. You pull them right Can't out. Can't get over the another Make seven minutes. Make sure you have a towel laid down pass. because these things are going to be wet when you pull them out. <laughs> That's what they always say. And I'm going to tell you right now, I have a tendency to burn myself and to cut myself on this show. This so we're going to let that cool <laughs> Why did you, What is this? What, this doesn't save any effort. It'd be easier to just make the f***ing omelets. <laughs> Why do you do it this way? Before we open these and take a look, see if it worked. You do this so that everybody eats at the same time. How many times have you done breakfast? One at a time. Another thing is you can do this on camping trips. Throw them all in one big pot. Everybody eats at the same time. The beauty is everybody eats at the same time. That's what's great about this. This isn't the perfect omelet. This is the lazy man's omelet. You want the perfect omelet? Here, click right there. That's the perfect omelet. You can go to the video in a minute. There's nothing but for there. right now, this is the lazy man's omelet. Let's take a look. I have this no idea how to get these though. out. So I'm just going to... Cut it and see how that works. Wow. Great usage of oh, plastic wow. bags. Look at that. Ta-da. It's beautifully cooked inside and everything. I don't like it. Gorgeous. Ha! Ooh, hot. Look it's at like that. poached, but there's no water. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look at uh, the veggie omelet. Do, 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 do. Look at that. Beautiful. Do you think the kid's going to eat see, that? It's kind of funny. You can see all the insides all cooked, too. Do you think the kid's going to eat that? Beautiful. In fact, let's cut this open here. It looks like a plastic a bag. Oh, it's it's wow. just the shape of a plastic oh, bag. Oh, great. Look at that. That's Gordon the Ramsay omelet. wants to know your location. This is the cheese omelet. <laughs> and the cheese omelet. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Look at that. The cheese looks, omelet. Looks like a bag of omelet. Came out absolutely perfect. Oh, it's beautiful. my gosh, Jack. Wow. That was totally cool. Wow. I can't believe it worked. All right. So... Cheese omelet, veggie omelet, ham and onion. So pretty much anything you want to put in an omelet, this will work. But at what cost? But at what cost? You forgot the mayonnaise. Yes, orange slice. True. I actually think just doing an omelet in a pan is more lazy than this. That's that's how I feel. Next up, garbage stew. Can't wait for that. Hey guys. Let's see. Okay, so this is another spur of the moment video and i'm gonna explain it to you in a minute it's kind of sick and gross oh but it should be good oh <laughs> i love that like aunt um, myrna's party cheese Harry's salad razors. come on in close let me show you this mess okay so this is everything I, every time i go to do a video i go through my fridge i pull out all the old stuff i either throw it out or figure out a way to use it These okay are all left over from other videos this is some setup so he's got here let's, now uh, well the bacon isn't but let me run down and just show you what we got. Uh, I pulled it all out. So we got these sweet potatoes. Okay, so this he's... Is the, I don't know if you saw the smoke I'm assuming thingy. the garbage stew means he's taking all the leftovers he has and making a stew with them. You know, smoked turkey, smoked turkey. Not going to use it all unless I get a bigger pot. Uh, I got some leftover bacon. That's on its way out. Oh, boy. The injected sirloin. The smoked sirloin's in here. I'll show you all that. I even put... When I did the smoked sirloin, I put Nathan hot dogs on there. Oh, I got to get rid of these. I got an onion. It's just, it's like ready to start oozing crap. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh. If, if I don't use this onion today, it's going in the garbage. Hence why, the name. The you, celery why not today? Why not garbage today, Jack? Starting to turn on the edges. <laughs> just make this it garbage today. To shrivelly. The other one was brown. I had to throw it out. Just uh, just throw it all to compost there. Uh, I got... I got leftover jalapenos. I don't. I think that was from a nacho video. Can jalapenos even go bad? I don't know. 
kind of preserved. Leftover Cajun seasoning. <laughs> uh, one beer left from one of my be- cooking with oh, beer Oh, is that episodes. going in? Is that going in? Got a salsa here that I I bought for another. Is recipe. that going I didn't in? Use it. Uh, roasted red peppers. Does anyone remember how long ago that was? They're still good. They're good till 2016, which scares me. Uh, what well, else? Preserved, oh, I found so. a can of corn, sweet corn, uh, that's gonna expire any day. Oh my French god! French onion beans and some chopped green chilies. This is not my idea of the perfect stew. This is I, just all going in a pot. I gotta use it all. So it's, I, I don't want to waste any food. So I called it garbage stew. Okay. I redeem the onion is no good. There's stuff oozing out of Thank it. Thank you. I don't want to ruin the dish or make myself or my family sick. So Thank so you. I'll put the meat in the bowl here. All right. Cut up all the hot dogs. With that same energy, I think most of the stuff do. in front of me right now can go. Pieces. I'm just going to start pulling the meat off the... Oh, oh! That would need the noises. The dark meat. Get rid of the skin. Give that a We're skip. Gonna squeeze that in. So just take your hand and roll it on the cutting board. It gets it all juiced up. You can even feel how the juice inside. If you just squeeze yeah. it while it's sealed. We're going to take carefully. Anytime you're Careful. cutting really hard food, you want to do it carefully. Of course. Or you can just do that. Cut them smaller. Oh. You're gonna to want to cut them in small pieces, and I would. Okay. I'm going with this method. I don't want to make a mess. Some raw so sweet potatoes like or yams. I can't. I don't really know what the difference is yet. There you go. And then this way they'll cook faster. Okay. Perfect. You can cut that up. You can mince that What's up. What's that? You can leave them. If you like big giant pieces, is that you garlic can whole pieces? You can do anything you want. Giant. And then celery. If you got celery, I already cut all the yuckies off the ends, all the brown. It's always easy. Just hold it together. Don't take them apart. Love cutting the yuckies off. Okay, everybody. I had to make an executive decision. My crock pot was not big enough for all my leftover garbage in my fridge. Oh, boy. So I now have to go with my mom's old sauce pot. That looks I've good. Which I've used for many, many years. I love you, Mom. Thanks for leaving this to me. All right, first thing we're going to do is put in the meat. It's all cut up. Bacon, hot dog, <laughs> turkey, and sirloin. Next, the fresh vegetables. More like garbage disposal <laughs> soup, am I right? The French-style green beans, the sweet cream of corn, green chilies, which are not hot, by the way. They're like Ortega chilies. Roasted okay. red peppers. I should cut those up. Yeah. Should I? <laughs> nah. Jalapenos. I was just going in holes. Just little Cajun seasoning. Someone's just going to get a whole pepper. <laughs> a beer. Interesting. Is it, I Salsa. Wonder I wonder if he's adding some stock to this or something. Can't forget to squeeze in the lime. There oh, we go. That's going to make it zesty AF. All that lime Ooh. juice is in there. I want to get that out. Oh, that is. Annoying. You know, I got uh, some water and bullion cubes. Beef oh, bullion there you go. In the microwave right now, going dissolving. I'm about ready to add that in, but doesn't this look like it might fit in my crock pot? Doesn't yeah, it? maybe. Right, let's try it in the crock pot. It, it might. Depends on how much water there. you're adding. If it doesn't fit, it's going to be pretty darn close. Okay. Bullion cubes in here, made a little beef broth. So I'm going to pour some beef. If you don't have any, use okay. bullion cubes in hot water. But I'm going to pour this in here too. Okay. There we go. That is okay. So I got the, it in my whole, crock pot. This is a the whole peppers are kind of funny to me. Four. You're gonna do four hours on high or eight on low. I'm gonna do four hours on high, so we can have this tonight for dinner. So I got it going, and I will show you what it looks like once it's all melted oh together. Oh my I'm god! Stir it every so often. Oh, I'm so ready for this. Okay, when you have about 15 minutes left, I want you to take the lid off. You ready to take a peek? I'm ready. Take a peek. There it is. It looks the same. Oh, Just beautiful. Softer. Ooh, smells good. Take a grip of, just a grip like that, of spinach. Why? You can do kale if you want, but I'm not a fan of kale. I'm gonna do spinach. Okay. The spinach oh, that makes it look cooks almost instantly. That makes it look a little bit nicer. Nice hot bacon. <laughs> the hot dogs in it. Funny the hot dogs float. The hot dogs in it, I think, really was a little little much. Look, there's a lot of hot dogs. There's not. Most of the good stuff's on the bottom anyway. Okay, now, 
So much I'm hot so dog. I'm so serious when I say go through your cupboards, pull out what you haven't used Maybe in a while. Maybe I will, Jack. Maybe fridge, I will. Pull out leftovers. I got a little bit of everything. Try in me. Oh, I didn't get enough. Got to get some sweet potatoes in there. At least one roasted red pepper. How does it come out? Let uh -huh. us know. This is, like I say, if I didn't cook this today, all of that would have been in the garbage. That's why it's called garbage stew. <laughs> okay, so let's Maybe get you should have. Maybe you of, should have. A little bit of everything. Oops. There we go. And I feel like he mm. slurped up a whole pepper in there. Oh, oh yeah. Cajun flavor <laughs> and jalapenos. Oh, oh yeah. Make this dish. That good, man. It really does. That good. The hot dogs were smoked. So even though when you bite in a hot dog, it's like really good. <laughs> yeah, I'd try something like that with my stuff. Just missing a couple cups of mayo. Absolutely. Huh, weird. I could have sworn you've done this one plenty of times already. <laughs> oh. All right, well, I think, think that's all the time we have for today. I don't know. I kind of want to make a garbage stew now. I'm thinking I got some old potatoes in there I got to use. Maybe a couple onions. Stuff like, oh yeah, oh, or like a casserole or something. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll let you know how it goes. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, thanks for your support. We're right up at, at 30,000 subscribers. If you're not subscribed, why don't you get subscribed? Maybe we'll be at 40,000 before we know it, am I right? Maybe when I'm comfortably above 30,000 by like a decent amount, I'll, uh, I'll have a nice celebration or something. I, I have no idea. Anyway. Thanks again. I'll see you next time. Willow Davis, out.